Okay guys, so once again, um, usually when we're in this position, I'm going to be up in a fully stacked position with all my weight, but uh, I'm heavier than I look and I look heavy, so it's quite a bit of weight. Normally what I like to do, if I have somebody who's not addressing my leg, they're not creating openings, and they're in a nice full shield, could be this way, could be horizontal, could be blended, I'm always going to look for support. You can support on the ground, um, and that can arguably scissor the person in, but I always like to grab the throat if I can, or cloth on the person, because then, yes, he's mobile, but it allows me to monitor him a little bit more and know where he's going. All right, so I have my foot, my knee, my hand. If I can't get through, I'm, the reason I'm doing this empty-handed is to show you that even if you're punching, if you dump your cup out, if you put the thumb down on an angle, he has the tightest shields he wants up there, shield, 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 I can still square in, and I'm still hitting, right, with my knuckle. Dry skin marks, right? That's what I want, right? I want to uh, I want to hit him with my knuckle right here. I could arguably hit the side of his arms with hammers or punches. I can palm strike with the palm heel right into the back of the brainstem, right? And through my through my leg push and my hand rotation, I can open that up a little bit, whether ribs, head, as I wish. If I want to get rid of it, one of the easy ways to rip that through is to punch in and rip it up to my body. So I don't need to go to an arm bar, I just need to occupy it and continue smashing. So I'll show you on this side. Sorry, accidentally shit to the head. So I'm up here, I'm holding. So again, I could be hammering, I'm hitting. So palming into the back of the neck, you see it's quite open. And I'm driving through, careful not to actually hit him. And then I have good pressure. Make no mistake, guys, like full drop pubis punch or a knee drop here, drop, drop. All of these are devastating shots. Angling his face off with your shin and then smashing, right? So that's one of the easiest ways to get through it. So again, I can, angle the body off using the wedge of my shin and my hand and then look for the back with palm or turn down knuckles. I can address the arm by hitting it to weaken it or I can look at punching all the way through. And again, it's knuckles down. I don't want my thumb to be in jeopardy, right? Knuckles down to come through. You could even double sort of half beat it. Arm penetrate and that kind of makes a little opening. Stretch it up and you got some free shots to the face. Free shots to the face, yay!